few others. Uh, I don't know if there's any more in here, but we got some outside. All right, so limonium, um, a very unique leaf, foliage shape, okay? Also has a winged petiole. And uh, again, you see this maybe a uh, foot and a half to two foot wide rosette of foliage, okay? And probably gets up uh, ultimately maybe six inches to eight inches tall max. So this entire thing is sort of set in a plate for this particular uh, bloom. All right. Obviously, once the blooms begin to come up, the scapes here are winged, heavily winged. In fact, there'll be wings on three sides of that particular uh, flower scape. Okay. And then they'll branch heavily. You see a lot of branching here. And an interesting thing, they, they're used uh, a lot, very widely in the forest industry. You can imagine this is a relatively unique uh, shape. Okay, so you can, you can dry these things, and they're very, uh, in fact, they use them mostly dry uh, in the forest industry. Okay. Now, if you were, were not careful, you would think that these yellow and purple structures were the actual flowers. But this is actually the flower here, okay? So this purple structure is the calyx. Okay, the structure that holds the flower, and then the, the actual corolla, or the, uh, the actual bloom, is this white structure. And uh, it, it will be creamy white on all these particular uh, plants, okay? The this one needs... The calyx. Yeah, the purple and the calyx. So this calyx has a yellow color? Yes. And then ultimately, it'll open up with a, a white color. A uh, white flower. And so they're that small? Like they're always that small? Yes. Yes. This is typical size, okay? I can't imagine you guys having a whole lot of trouble with this particular plant. Mm -hmm. uh, but we will talk about the foliage real quick, okay? Again, hip, wing petiole. All right. And then you get this sort of sinewy lobing that occurs on the leaf that ends up being about six to eight inches long, okay? And then quite a bit of uh, pubescence, very uh, I guess, uh, hispid pubescence that occurs. You can see each individual hair. It's not like a bunch of uh, hairs that congregate there, but you can see each individual one. And you can feel them if you run your hand up, up and down the leaf, okay? Would you bring in the whole plant or just a leaf? I guess I could bring in a leaf. I mean, that's we're not going to see a whole lot that... Uh, we see poppies that look sort of kind of like that, but it doesn't have the pubescence on it or anything like that. And typically it doesn't have uh, such a winged petiole either, okay? I'll try not to confuse you. That's my, that's my goal every semester, to not confuse her. 